But we're starting this one off strong. Lachlan Giles has been given $100,000 by an anonymous donor. A guy I met, a guy I know, a legend of a bloke. Uh, it may or may not be me. I'm gonna leave that open to interpretation as we talk about what happens next. Giles has given out $100,000 to Australian Jiu Jitsu athletes that have made a dent on the international scene, but still spend most of their time residing in Australia. So he's trying to keep these guys in Australia, incentivize them to stay in Australia, but he has added one caveat. What do you think that could be? Let's see. Let's be clean. You just already mentioned staying in Australia. Anything I'm missing? Steroids. 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 So I actually requested this to Lachlan Giles myself. I told him, I said, hey, we should only give this money out to athletes that are clean athletes because, of course, I would like to remain the most famous Australian jiu-jitsu athlete of all time. And one way I can help achieve that is if I prevent other Australian athletes from taking steroids like I did to gain my success. So by giving this money out and drug testing these guys to make sure they're clean, what we're ensuring is that any upcoming Australian athlete will be a clean athlete, which will put them at an incredible disadvantage in the global scene. And that will help further cement my legacy, probably buy me another five to 10 years. We might have to find another donor to donate another $100,000 to make sure that these guys stay clean up until a longer date. Also ensuring that perhaps I may be the only two-time silver medalist in Australian history. But I think it's a brilliant, a brilliant play from Lachlan Giles. Again, I was a Lachlan Giles student. I'm a Lachlan Giles black belt. He gave me the black belt. I gave him his first two stripes on his black belt. Things change fast. But this is great because Lachlan Giles is looking out for me. He's like, oh, how can we pr protect Craig's legacy? Let's make sure the rest of Australian athletes remain drug free. I'm like myself. Yeah, it makes sense why your brother didn't get any of the money either because you know, after that weekend in Thailand, there's no way he would have passed that drug test. Yeah, my brother, uh, 6'8", 165 pounds, he did the drug test. He failed for crack and methamphetamines, <laughs> unfortunately for him. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting thing because one of the athletes, and Lockton Giles, the bastard, has made me promise not to say his name, did not show up to the drug test. So I think you applied, you applied for the money. Giles said he had the money. You applied for the money. Then he, bam, spurs on you a drug test and he says, hey, I'm gonna book you in. These drug tests are very expensive. He's like, I'm gonna book you in. You gotta go and you gotta pass the test. And then from there, I will give you the money that you have so earned. And what's interesting is a guy will give you a clue. I'll give you a clue, but I won't say who it is. It is from a Sydney gym. The man is from a Sydney gym. We'll narrow it down to New South Wales. But I mean, you know who you are, we know who you are too. Obviously trying to get the money and be on steroids, that would be something I would do, and I don't agree with it at all. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. I've never heard of anything like this happening before in the sport of jiu-jitsu. Yeah, not at all. You have Lachlan doing more drug tests than uh, IBJJF itself, so. Well, yeah, he's very invested in uh, anti, he's very anti-drugs, he's very just say no. I imagine that philosophy goes across his entire, across the spectrum of all drugs, you know? I mean, each to their own. To me, that could be a bit of fun police, but you know, each to their own. Uh, but again, well, I'm very thankful for Lockley Giles for doing this for me, for making sure that no other Australian athlete will be on steroids like myself. 